Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial and this one we're going to be looking at some medieval watchtowers. So this goes either side of the gatehouse that I've done in my last tutorial um, and it's really really nice. It can use 1.7.10 blocks at the moment. It can be used in 1.8. You can also adjust it and add in some andesite or diorite or all those kind of fun blocks that you've got in 1.8 or 1.9 as it nearly is. Um, and it's a really simple tower. There's a little bit of complication when it comes to the staircase in the tower because we've got that as its own separate thing off to one side. So let's actually just take a quick look down here. It's a 2x2 two two spiral staircase. I have also have another tutorial for that on my channel and it comes out with different levels um, throughout the tower and if we go all the way down to the bottom then you see that we come out at the bottom level and we have a little back door off to one side. So it's quite safe because you've got to get all the way around this tower to get into the tower so you can't actually get straight in through the gatehouse and it's really really tall quite defensible and it just fits perfectly with the gatehouse from the last episode and together the two look really really nice uh, so hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial okay so to get started we're going to use three different colored wool blocks we're going to be using blue wool red wool and magenta now magenta is just going to be the overlapping blocks the red is going to be your main tower and the blue is going to be your staircase and the staircase design that we're going to be using is a two by two spiral staircase i do have a tutorial on my channel if you want a bit more in-depth um tutorial on how to do that i'm just going to kind of be breezing over it a little bit in this tutorial just showing you the basics if you want if you need help more understanding go check out that other video i'll put a link in the description as well well, let's get started. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five blocks in a row with our red wool. One, two, and then another five blocks. And just copy that round in a circle. So you go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So you should have a circle that looks something like this. Okay, then you're going to pick one of the corners where your staircase is going to go. So now we're switching to the magenta wool. So I'm going to go for, we'll go for this corner. So we're going to go replace these two end blocks here. So you've got two red blocks in between. And then you're going to get your blue wool and put one block here and one block here. So it's going at a diagonal to each one. Now next to each of those blue blocks, you're going to place another one. So it's kind of coming around in a circle. And then just close it off like that. So if you imagine that this magenta wool was a blue wool, you've kind of just made a circle. So I'll do the shape over here. It's one, two, one, one, two. 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. So that's all the shape it is that you're making. It's just that you're doing it over on the corner of the tower. Now I've done this out of different coloured blocks so that it's a little bit easier for you guys to see what bit is the staircase and what bit is the main bit of the tower. But obviously when you guys build it, it's going to be all out of stone brick or cobblestone or sandstone, whatever you're trying to build this tower out of basically. So this is stage one. I'll just hover here so you guys can try and get your blocks right. And let's move on. So what you're going to do next is build everything up by five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be sort of the height of where you have everything in. So we build this up by five. And for now, I'm just going to do the main bit of the tower. We don't have to worry about the staircase in any way. We can just build this all up by five blocks. And we're also going to leave those two red blocks out because they don't need to be built up. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, up like this. Okay, so now you've got this basic shape. We're going to grab our birch wood planks. I'm using birch because we use birch in the tower over here. So it kind of makes sense to use birch again because these are going to be connected. And I'm going to place one, two, three planks like this because we're going to have a walkway in between here which is going to be one two three so that's where those three blocks are going to be that i've just placed over here and then all we're going to do is just fill in the shape actually we'll leave the staircase section for now and we're just going to fill in all like this and if you want to you can either leave this section the same as that side so it could go off onto a wall or something or you can leave it closed up. I think for this video, we're going to leave it closed up like this. Okay, so just to show where the floor is going to be, I'm going to use yellow wool because that kind of represents the um, the birch plank colour. 
So we're just going to do a line of yellow wool there to show where our first floor is. And then I'm going to build up high another four blocks of the red wool. So one, two, three, four, all the way up like this. Leaving that three block gap there for our doorway. And this should actually be magenta wool there, because that's part of the staircase tower, which we're going to work on later. Okay, and then what you can do if you want is punch in some windows. So, right in the middle of all these blocks, we're just going to punch in two block high windows like this. So, when you're walking around, you can see out. And then again, we're going to be having a floor layer. So, I'm not actually going to put the floor in this time, but we are just going to use our yellow wool just to show where that floor is. And then we're going to build it up by one other set of four. So, exactly the same again one, two, three, four, and just do that all the way around. Okay, so now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now, if you're using coloured wool, it's going to look very colourful, and you're going to have to destroy all of that in just a moment. Uh, if you're not using coloured wool, well done, you're one step ahead of the game. So this is the base of our tower. Now, what I'm going to do is change all this to stone brick, um, and then we can start working on some of the detail of the tower. And once we've done that, we can then work on the staircase tower because that is a little bit more complicated so i want to go over that in a bit more detail so we're still going to have this big gap in the corner over there okay so we're done now with our stone brick so what we're going to do next is work on some of the detailing down here and some of the detailing in between now I still left our yellow wool in so we can see where the floor is going to be on each of these tower bits and we're also going to work a little bit on the crenellations at the top just on the front here and then we'll move on to this staircase so what we're going to need is some stone brick stairs and some stone brick slabs. Now, where are the stone brick stairs? There they go. So what we're going to do along the bottom here is we're going to place two stone bricks like this. And then we're going to place three stairs on either side of them and two stairs on top of each of them. And then we're going to place another one facing that way. I'm going to place a full block and then a slab on top right in the corner. So we'll go to this side again. We're going to place a stir. Go to the next block, place a full block and a slab in the corner. So if we do the same on this side, you'll see that it starts to come together a little bit. So we place two full blocks like this, three stone brick stairs in between, and two on top. And then one, and we don't have to do this corner block because it's already done from that side. And then we go here, and we can do this corner block like this. And we can just copy that shape all around now. But obviously we're going to have to leave a little bit here for where the other tower is going to be. And this side is going to be attached to the gatehouse. So all we need is that one stir there like this. Okay, next we're going to take our stone brick stirs again. And we're going to replace these five blocks here with stir blocks. Same up here, replace these five blocks here with stir blocks. And then the corner ones we're just going to replace with normal full bricks. So like this, like this, and we can do the same here, but with it being connected, we're just going to leave it as four blocks. Same here, just leave it as four blocks. Uh, we can leave that for a minute. On the back here, we're going to replace one, two, three, and only four because it's connected here, so we want to leave this a little bit for a minute. Two four blocks, one, two, three, four, five. Do our upside down stairs. Same here like this and then we should just be able to fill the corners in with full blocks and it should all be looking stone brick like obviously we need to do this bit as well okay so now you have something that looks a little bit more interesting there's a little bit of depth here with the upside down stir there's a little bit of um, foundation at the bottom and it looks a little bit more interesting okay so now let's work on the crenellations so what we're going to do here is we're going to go from this very top layer I'm going to place two upside down stairs facing in on the window and this is going to create a sort of archway on top of those we're going to place four full blocks and in between put a slab so you've got like an archway going on at the top here and you will just need to fill in that block behind it with a full block and there you go and you're going to go a full line of full blocks on top and then on each, like this, you're going to do slabs. And that's going to be the top. That is it. Nice and simple. So this here 
if I just put the slab the full blocks in this is going to be the walkway and this will be sort of the battlements at the top okay so we'll do that on this side and then we'll work on the corner bit so again you go into this top row and you place two upside downstairs place four blocks leaving one gap in the middle and then place a slab fill in this line at the back as well like this put a full line of full blocks on top and then alternate with your slab so slab nothing slab nothing slab nothing and there you go so for the corner bit it gets a little bit more complicated but it's still pretty easy to follow what we're going to do is place two stairs like this so it's at the same height as where you place these other ones and then you're going to place a full block and then another full block either side of that and then place some stairs going down from there so it's coming out quite a bit and then with this gap that you've just created you're going to come down one two three blocks and then put a slab like this so this slab is going to be at the same height as this top level of uh, upside down stairs so it's at the same height as your floor and then for the top bit all you're going to do is bring that across like this bring it across like this and then put two slabs on the corner bits so the, the correlation sort of carry on with your gap like this so I'll do that one more time over here so what we're going to do is place stir block here then you're going to place full block on top and full block on top and then next to that you're going to place a full block and a stir underneath and then you're going to place a full block on top a full block on top and a slab on top and then behind this last stir that you just placed you're going to come down one two three and then place a slab so it's at the same height there and then just do the same for the other bit of the corner so from this height stir full block stir underneath two full blocks up on both and a slab in the corner now we are going to do the exact same for this bit now this should be high enough to clear this roof over here so what we're going to do is exactly the same we're just going to do a stir block upside down like this and then just do the same pattern again and even though that magenta wall is part of the staircase it should be fine just to copy this over so we could just do this and then put slabs and there you go okay so i'll just finish off this section and then we're finally on to doing the staircase tower okay so now you should have something that looks a little bit like this and that is kind of the base of the tower but we still need to finish off the staircase part so i'm going to do this over here and i do have a more detailed tutorial on this on my channel so if you just want to search 2x2 two two spiral staircase it should come up but what you're going to do is this sort of shape so using three stairs you're going to do one facing the way that you want to go up and then come around and do one facing so it turns it sideways and then come around again so it goes in this T shape again I have a more in-depth tutorial if you didn't get that from that little section so what we're going to do is focus on this 4x4 four four area in the middle so these four blocks here and we're going to work on just doing the staircase first and then we can worry about the rest of it so what we're going to do is place a stair block there turn it get rid of that blue block put a stair block then we're going to go up block and it's going out this way and then you see now that we are punching out some of those wool blocks and by doing this um, it's going to create little indents in the side of the walls which is going to be really really nice for little bits of detail and you can punch out these four blocks as well that are going to be underneath otherwise you won't be able to walk the staircase so we place block there facing that way turn the stir and then again turn the stir like this and you're just going to do that all the way up to the top so I'll go all the way up to this top level now and then I'll show you the next bit okay so now you should have something a little bit like this if you've only done the staircase and it does look a little bit strange I'll admit but what we're going to do now is just basically pillar up with our stone bricks so where the magenta wool is we're just going to place blocks like this and just go up in a straight line all the way to the top like that and then where this blue wool is we're just going to go in a straight line all the way up to the top again like this and again all the way to the top so you can see all we're doing now is kind of filling in the gaps Alright, so once you've filled in all the blocks, you should end up with a wall that looks like this, and you have these 
stone stairs that create gaps like this every now and then and that's fine that actually gives it a little bit more depth and detail well what we're going to do just to finish off this tower is where this block is jutting out on this side we're going to place a stir block there and the same there fill the blocks out go up by one block and then place two upside down stairs in this gap to just create this little bit of difference and then on top of each corner we're going to place a slab so you get this shape right in the corner tower the only other thing to do then guys is on the inside of this tower if you really want to is just go on the inside and just fill all of these gaps in like this so it's only two blocks wide and that's just going to really help to enclose the player and make it so that you can just go up the stairs really really easily if you don't then you're just going to fall down gaps like this so just by filling in these gaps like that and like this and just make sure you go around the whole staircase make sure you get all of those little gaps blocked off and that is it i think okay so now that your tower is complete you still need to do a little bit more a little bit more detailing because as nice as it looks at the moment it's very plain so to get some detail in i'm going to use a few different blocks we're going to use some mossy stone stone this is all by the way this is all by the way i'll just get away. i'll just get some stone bricks just in case uh we're also going to take some cobblestone and some knob and we'll and we'll take some polished andesite i think yeah that should work all right and then the other two blocks which this might not be for everyone some people might not like it uh but i'm going to use some light gray wool and some clay if i can find clay let's just search clay i'm going to use some clay blocks there we go so we've got quite a few different blocks that we're going to be using and they're all on the same color palette so i'll just lay these out here we've got stone bricks mossy and cracked and then we've got stone normal uh, cobblestone stone and polished and sight and then we're going to also have polished and sight light gray wool and clay so i've separated these into three different sections and that's because we've got three different layers of the tower so we're going to fo focus on this bottom layer first so we're using the mossy stone now with mossy stone you want to keep it quite low down because moss grows up and it sort of grows in bunches and like grows like close together so you can see i'm just punching out a few different blocks now this isn't like tutorial specific this is just sort of to give you guys ideas of how to put a bit of extra detail into your builds so that's probably enough mossy stone i'm not going to do the whole tower yet we've also got cracked stone bricks which these will look good pretty much anywhere on the build these don't have to be specifically at the bottom but we're going to put a, these in just to add a bit of layered detail in like like this and i don't think i'm going to go too high up with these blocks but just something like that just instantly adds a bit more detail and a bit more to the build, the build because of the cracks and the shadowing and the shade and stuff so that's it for that bottom section then we've got stone and cobblestone so what we're going to do for the most part of this layer is turn it all to stone uh, so it's all nice and smooth and it this will give the effect that uh, this section has been completely smoothed over so like that and we'll even do it for these little sections as well I guess um, we don't need to do that side because we're not really going to be seeing that on this part of the tutorial and like that and then we're also going to carry it down a, a little bit but not too much so we'll put a few stone blocks down here and this is just to make it look like it's sort of transitioning from pure stone up there and you can see there's a bit more stone coming in then i'm going to get some cobblestone and do the same thing so we're just going to put a couple of blocks of cobblestone here and there uh, especially around these cracked stone bricks and we're just going to try and make the cobblestone look like it's further down so there's a transition of uh, the mortared stone brick and then there's just the crumbling cobblestone and then we've got some smooth stone and this might look like it's uh, been plastered or something like that and I think that that's probably enough we'll just put one block in there and there you go it's got a bit more detail now this bit is not for everybody and some people might not like this idea so this is going to try and make it look like the how the people who built this tower have painted the tower and whitewashed it which a lot of castles did in medieval times um using like limestone paint and stuff so we're going to take some light gray wool and some clay and we're just going to mix these together so for the top of this tower i think we're going to replace all of the cobblestone 
Um, so the top is going to be really, really nice. And then we're going to replace a lot of the stone with light grey wool as well. So we're just going to mix the blocks around, try and get a good mix. And I think the clay works a little better than the grey wool. Um, although I seem to have used a lot more grey wool. But there you go. So it's really up to you guys which of the blocks you use more of. But something like that. But what you want to do is, as we've done with all the other layers, is transition it down. So instead of just having it on one layer, bring it right down and just have a couple of blocks down here maybe. And then start putting in your clay blocks like that. And I think we'll put stone block in there. And we'll just put a clay block down here and there. And really only try and replace either the cobblestone, the stone or the stone bricks. Don't get rid of your cracked stone brick or your mossy stone brick if you've got any of this high up. You'd kind of want to keep those detail bits in uh, and try and make it look nice. So we'll get rid of that. And because this is the top layer, it's all meant to be smooth. We'll get rid of that and that as well. And yeah, that is that is kind of it. It's just a case of I've just done exactly what I said not to do and replaced this cracked stone brick. But it's fine. Sometimes it's fine. Shh, it's okay. <laughs> and I did it again. We can see now we've got that effect of the plaster coming down and it really makes the top of the tower stand out and shine um, but yeah that's it for this tutorial guys um, hopefully you enjoyed it and just before we finish I'm gonna do like a little cinematic -y thing of the whole thing together <laughs> 